and by a suffering so meritable for humanity, maybe when we pray with it, God also can give us blessings that we can that we are also asking for. And so two things. First, it's not only to deepen our devotion to the prayer of the Stations of the Cross, but to rediscover the lessons the journey to Calvary gives to the Christians of our time, to you and I, Christians, believers of Christ in our time. The second also is that, that by meditations and reflections of the journey to Calvary, you and I can also rediscover our life is to be configured to Christ. And in that configuration, we can ask also and discover our own vulnerabilities, our own dysfunctions, our own disordered attitudes, our own sinfulness, so that we can also change them and be converted and then to truly walk in that configuration to Christ. So this is the, the, the picture, so to say, of our, um, of our retreat tonight. I will give you, we'll have a few moments of silence. Talk to the Lord. Offer to the Lord your, your hopes for this mini retreat. Less than two hours now. But then, time doesn't matter. Because in the Psalms, it says, one day is better than a thousand elsewhere. One day with the Lord is better than a thousand of those days elsewhere. Maybe one minute with the Lord can also be more rewarding than we will have a lot of minutes somewhere else. And tell the Lord to speak to you spiritually tonight. Speak to you personally. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the Lord. Father and Son, not the Holy Spirit. A few moments of silence. 